Okay, hi everybody, Miss Kay here. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create a fun work of art using Tate Paint, a really cool art game from the Tate Museum. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna click this play button here and you're gonna click on Let's Create, which will bring you to your canvas options. So you'll notice that you have a variety of different colored canvases to choose from, um, watercolor paper, if you want to do a portrait, there's an outline for you to get started. I'm just going to choose the canvas right here and it will take a minute or two to load. And you might already start to notice Tate Paint has some interesting sound effects. You might decide that you like the way things sound, um, depending on which tool the sounds vary. If, you, if it annoys you, that's fine. You can just turn the volume down on your device. Um, once it loads, you're going to have um, these tools to start with which are some fun little stickers that you can use to enhance your art. So you have some bubbles, you'll hear the sound effects. You can click once, you can click and drag, which is that. And you'll notice as I click, the toolbar will disappear. So it will disappear once you start to make your art and then you can just click on it to bring it back up. Okay, so you can see the difference in one click uh, versus click and drag. Some fun eggs cracking. Um, so again, you'll have um, the ability to add those fun stickers to your art. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one for now because now I want you to take a look at the uh, more art related supplies. So um, you can either click on a tool and drag to see all of the tools or you can click individually and it will bring up your tool along with your color selection. Um, and you'll notice what I highly suggest is that you kind of test out each tool um, to see what it looks like, see what the texture looks like, because each tool definitely varies. Okay, so you'll see here there's the paintbrush, so it's more like little um, drops of paint. See what it looks like when you layer something. You might find that tools look a little different than what you think. So this one, um, to me, kind of looks more like paint coming directly out of a tube versus paint on a paintbrush. But um, again, just play around with the tools and see what you like. This is one of my favorites, the paint uh, painting knife. So this one, to me, kind of really looks like it gives that texture of like a real painting. So that's one of my favorites right here. But again, you might like something different. Um, there's also a chiseled marker, kind of like a Sharpie. I like the sound effect of that one. And then um, there's also some spray paint. It's really fun. I'll spray up here. You can see as it as you finish, it'll start to drip down, which is pretty fun. A fine tipped marker. And you also have um, three different types of erasers. Okay, so this is that tool right here. One in the middle will be your smallest. So that's really great if you want just like little things erased with the blue eraser being the largest. So you can erase like large sections at a time. Okay. Um, however, if you decide like this right here, I don't need this anymore because I've messed it up too much and I think it would be easier just to restart. I'm just going to click on the trash can tool because now I've experimented with the tools and now I might have an idea of which tool I like, which colors, and now I'm ready to get started on my actual art. I'm going to just show you, um, we're just going to do a quick sunset, but remember you can make whatever you want. Okay. You do not have to make a sunset. That was, this was just something, um, quick that I thought I could show you. You have fun and explore and make something personal to you. Once you are finished. And if I'm deciding this is finished, Here's your important piece right over here, that green checkbox. You're going to go ahead and click it. It's going to prompt you. Have you finished? Green. Yes. And then right there, it'll pop up your artwork on a gallery wall. You'll get your applause. And then right here, immediately click download. Please don't forget to do this. You're welcome to take a screenshot if you want but please download it. You'll see right here. It just instantly saves that design to your computer, to your device. All right. So that you're then able to upload it into Google Classroom, which we'll look at in the next video.